okay a very warm welcome everyone we are starting our session i welcome all the participants those who are connected with us in case if you have any trouble during connectivity or any problems send it to me on chat i'll help you out this session is going to be an interactive session wherein we would be pretty happy to have an interaction with all of you we would also like to explore uh, your interest towards machine learning your experiences towards machine learning and how we can ensure that we can utilize that experience and bring it to machines to make them intelligent so objective of today's session is to work out on different aspects of how machine learning is implemented how knowledge is extracted and finally how we make end to end product so that it is usable to the users as you all i hope you all understand that machine learning technology is popular is high in demand but clients and consumers don't want machine learning they want a solution to their problem and the solution can only be available to them once the developers or the machine learning experts are able to transfer knowledge to the developers and developers should be able to integrate those models and make a fine web product or a mobile product i hope everybody agrees to me on that and i would like to be uh, i would like you all to respond over chat so that we can give a direction to this talk yeah so i have got a message from abhimanyu wait guys so uh, before we proceed this session i would like to introduce myself and my company so my name is devanshu shukla and i have started hackweda.in which is a talent development platform in year 2011 in 2011 uh, we started that for the core implementation of cyber security and implementation of reverse engineering to extract knowledge from various different technologies and post that what we did we started collecting that information and we converged it into uh, a resource set the resource set we uh, call it as hack with a one to one wherein a lot of collected videos and in sequence our resources are available which i am going to share with all of you today uh, so here i would like introduction to my company it's a talent development platform wherein the talent development platform actually offers certain it courses certifications from microsoft google cisco and various other we also run a pearson view center wherein you can take your corporate examinations with us one uh, hackweda one to one is a resource which we have generated so that a lot of people those who are into technology if they want to understand how to make end to end products using video resources so approximately 200 video resources have been available over this uh, segment hackweda one to one which you can explore apart from that we are also providing a hackweda learning kit which approximately includes 3000 plus courses Uh, in which major influence uh, is done over machine learning and lot other stuff so we'll be exploring that and we'll be sharing that with you apart from the programs you can quickly explore that on on our website i would like to give you a quick introduction to our profile so uh, my name is devanshu shukla and here i have founded this uh, company in 2011 along with i have accomplished over 20 30 plus certifications as of now when i started my career i started with defcon security group and post that i have introduced myself with various technologies like ipv6 wherein i have done a safe certification with hurricane electric i have also done various experiences on black space cloud ibm developer works there was multiple projects i was doing in on epub uh, format development then i have oriented i have oriented my uh, direction towards ieee and research wherein i am a member of software engineering standards committee advanced technology for humanity and many more organizations during this phase i have developed more than hundreds of projects uh, in which some majors are paratrooper locator system which we provide to adrd agra 
Apart from that, EPUB was a project which we did with IBM Developer Works. Uh, then we designed a software wireless access point, multi operating system, firmware for reverse engineering analysis, stability measurement system, recognition systems, data mining systems, and a lot more. And apart from that, I have spoken over 200 plus conferences at various uh, prominent and prominent institutions uh, like IITs, Delhi University, Technical University, and various other places. So now the whole objective to introduce Building intelligent system machine learning workshop is to uh, have an interaction with all the participants about what machine learning is, how we can extract knowledge out of data, and post that, how we can use that knowledge in order to make an end to end product which is usable to all the users. So that's what is the overall objective. Now, in order to complete this process, what all basic technologies are required? that we need to understand how many, what all tools are available, which we can effectively use in order to perform machine learning in great way, in order to perform deep learning in great way. So that's what the talk is all about today. Okay. So let's get ahead and let's continue with our program. Apart from that, I would like to quickly show you uh, certain places where we are available. So uh, we have an office at Rohini, Delhi at Noida, Uttar Pradesh. Today I'm streaming from our Noida office at C25 first floor, Amigo building sector 8, Noida. We do have an office at Hatveda, Canada as well at Markham, Ontario. So Hatveda is a multinational wherein we are working on various international projects like uh, crime detection on financial cases, fraud detection on financial uh, with financial institutions and many more. And I would like to take up certain case studies today uh, so that we can have a mutual sequential interaction and then we can convert that into uh, something useful so that uh, technology for humanity can be improved. <clears throat> I've got a question as well on chat. Please come to Gurgaon also. Definitely, we'll, we are trying hard to reach out to Gurgaon as well. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. Let's get started. So guys, uh, the very first thing which you guys need to know is what is an intelligent system? And we are using a nice reference known as Building Intelligent Systems, a guide to machine learning from APRES 2018. This is just to ensure you uh, what all basic things we need to know in order to get started with making a machine intelligent. So as you all can see, uh, as the definition defines that today, uh, the electrical equipments, the automobile equipments, watches, thermostats, and various other computing devices are becoming smarter day by day. And these are becoming smarter because we have a pool of data available. And using that pool of data, we can extract knowledge and we can integrate that knowledge with uh, the machine. Now. I'm sharing one more link with all of you so that uh, we all are on the same page. I'm sending an invitation to all of you here on chat so that you all can access this public board. And we will be having a discussion wherein I would like to share certain resources so that our discussion is aligned. Here. So the notes and videos, uh, I have sent you access to a card. The card is open on my uh, computer screen as of now, and I've given you a link to that card as well, so that you all will be able to access all the resources, which I will be sharing during this meetup. Now, so let me just push that information here. Now I would like to share some information, uh, a document, using which we are going to understand how we are going to make our machine intelligent. So 
So guys, I have shared a document with all of you. I've uploaded it on Trello card. Trello is a, a utility wherein you can actually have a collaborative environment and you can speak up with uh, your mates, those who are virtually available. I'm sharing the link to this document as well. Here on your chat, I have forwarded link to this machine learning document wherein we are going to have a quick rough sketch of what we need to do. So I would like to open that document for you. So guys, as you can see, when it comes to building intelligent systems, we are somewhere working on the technology known as artificial intelligence. And when it comes to artificial intelligence, the very first technology which helps a machine decide what has to be done is known as machine learning. Mm -hmm. Machine learning is considered to be as one of the most important route using which you can make a machine intelligent. Okay. What machine learning can do for you, machine learning can extract knowledge, extract knowledge from data. Okay. This is what you can do with machine learning stuff. Apart from machine learning, when you have extracted the knowledge, then you have to use other technologies, like you have to use robotics, to make a machine perform some actions. You need to introduce the concepts of natural language processing so that the machine can hear and can respond back to the user. Then you can work out on various other routes like speech recognition, text to speech, export systems, computer vision so that you can understand videos, images and other stuff so that you can extract knowledge out of it. So I'm going to take multiple case studies where we'll be taking up machine learning along with computer vision. And we will see how we can make intelligent systems by extracting important knowledge out of the data and then integrating that with an end-to-end -end product so that this product could be like a web product or it could be a mobile application which can be used by users and a lot of different stuff can be done. Finally, the overall objective of integrating all these technologies will end up at optimization, planning and scheduling process. Okay. So the final objective is we have to get the solution, which could be optimal for a problem. Okay. That's what is required. I hope you all have got access to this document and you all understand what exactly we are going to do. So we will be working on the context of machine learning and deep learning. And in order to do that, I have got this very nice graph with you, which is plotted between data sophistication and the value which you will be extracting out of it. Okay. <clears throat> so data sophistication is something wherein you are going to go deep into data. The deeper you go, the more value you will be able to extract out of data. Okay. So here, this graph actually represents various technologies, which will actually help you out extract potential information. So here, I would like to coin a statement, deeper you go in data, more value you will be able to extract. Okay. Now let's see. So suppose on one end, we have data available. Okay, consider this as data. This data could be of any format. It could be structured, it could be unstructured, it could be images, it could be videos, or any other format. When you have got data, out of data, what you can do, if you implement statistics, the first thing a machine learning expert has to do is identify what happened in data. Okay. So generally, this is known as the statistics technology. Statistics. So if you understand stats, you will be able to identify what happened in data and the output of that would be something like you're going to create a report or you're going to create 
and alert okay and this concept is also known as descriptive analytics in layman terms we can quickly call it as what happened in data okay am i clear to all the participants till now so when you have got data what you can do you can apply statistics on it and you can identify what happened in data and you can quickly make an output in form of a report or an alert and this technology is known as descriptive analytics wherein you are describing the data now once you have got certain facts after performing statistics and you are reported with certain things which is happening like a profit is happening or loss is happening the next stage what you need to do is you need to identify why did it happen the reasons you need to identify why something has happened and this is generally known as diagnostic analytics okay we call this process as diagnostic analytics now this stage is generally known as the stage of data mining this is the data mining stage which you need to perform so data mining is quite popular data mining is there from uh, more than two decades wherein uh, out of the data knowledge is being extracted and a lot of stuff is being done now once you have got the reasons why certain facts are happening then what you can do you can quickly push it to the next level wherein you can identify what will happen okay and this is known as predictive analytics wherein you can actually see the future you can see what is going to happen you can predict you can forecast and this technology is known as the technology of machine learning wherein you are going to apply multiple mathematical equations and you are going to identify which mathematical equation is more accurate in calculation of the output or the outcome okay so this is you can quickly consider it as implementation implementation of equation to calculate accuracy uh sorry to calculate outcome with high accuracy okay and finally post that the last one is how do you make the best happen this is the final stage how do you make the best happen the optimal results so this is known as identify the optimal results okay or you can also consider it as identify the optimal equation which can fit in order to calculate the best uh, outcome which will happen for or else the equation which can calculate the solution for the problem state so these are certain things which a machine learning expert needs to do i hope this is clear to all the participants those who are connected with us that mm -hmm. is just quickly save that image and i'm going to upload this image for all of you on the chat box in the trello so here i'm attaching the first image this will be here for your reference okay guys so here is the image attached and this is something which we all need to perform so given the data we have gathered the data from certain location post the data has been gathered you can perform what happened why did it happen what will happen in future and how do you make the best happen i hope this is clear to everyone is my voice audible to all of you great now so once we have reached to the stage now let me take you to an important one loud and clear thank you so much okay so let's quickly consider roles of a machine learning expert roles of a machine learning engineer 
So A, what happened in data? Second is, why did it happen? C, what will happen? And D, how do you make the best happen? Okay. These are the four roles of a data engineer or a machine learning engineer and how to, how to effectively, effectively complete these roles. In order to complete these roles, we have certain benchmarks using which we can implement these stages. So first is KDD model, which is knowledge discovery process. Second one is CRISP DM. You also call it as cross industrial standard process for data mining. Third, we have SEMA model, which is known as sample, explore, modify, model, assess. So these are similar models provided there are certain connections with different stages and how they have to be effectively used. If you understand these three models, you will be able to extract the appropriate knowledge out of the data and you will be able to make your machine intelligent by integrating the best mathematical equation which can calculate the outcome or which can identify similarities and dissimilarities. So this is what we need to do. Now, in order to do this, there are certain processes which we have to understand. And I would like to quickly take you to certain cases which we are here to implement today. So uh, I'm sharing a video with all of you over which uh, our today's talk is concerned. So I'm sharing this video with you and then we'll uh, proceed towards the case studies, how we are going to use all these stages in order to extract knowledge and in order to make our machines intelligent. So here is it. In venture capital pitch rooms and mass media alike, there is a growing buzz around health tech. In India alone, health tech startups raised over 500 million in 2018. Care is getting smarter and better targeted. Healthcare is seen as a massive opportunity for each of these new age technologies. Join Hackmeda Limited to build end-to-end -end product on artificial intelligence, big data, blockchain, machine learning, and Internet of Things. Upcoming batch from 3rd August to 25th August 2019 on weekends from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at. Okay, so guys, here as you all can see. This is uh, this video defines the healthcare product which we need to which we need to uh, build in. So now, objective of today's session is to have a discussion on how to make intelligent systems, and these intelligent systems uh, are dedicated towards healthcare section. So I have uh, brought to you certain case studies which we will be discussing on our data science studio platform. So I would like to bring all of you on this website, devanshishukla.in, wherein we have got our data science studio setup, using which we are going to perform building of end-to-end -end data science products. So let me just log in to the portal. And I would like to explain you how different things like structured machine learning, unstructured machine learning is being done. Now here, we are going to get started with a project. But before doing that, I would like to show you certain case studies, how end-to-end -end industrial level machine learning is being done. To show you that, the first project I'm taking is a brain tumor prediction system. Okay. As you already know, brain tumor is an important segment and we are working on a product wherein we want to effectively score and identify whether a user is infected from brain tumors or not. So for that, I have got a data set, which I would like to show you. 
and before that i would like to show you the complete flow of the of the standard product which we have to implement it now here what we are going to do initially we have a stage here where first of all we have to collect some brain mri images okay once you have collected brain mri images then we are going to label it and target so that we can give it to deep learning uh, so that we can analyze it and we can extract important information out of it so once we have pre processed it we are going to get a tumor data set ready which we are going to use for analysis now under analysis we are going to build our model which is going to read images which is going to extract features and uh, we are going to write our architecture which is going to use these features in order to evaluate how effectively you can score brain tumors now finally we are going to get a model and we are going to evaluate this model and finally we are going to get the prediction results so to show you uh, i would like to quickly take you to the data set here the data set which we have taken is from a biomedical imaging agency which is known as cbi cp the biomedical agency now under this images if you can observe we have got various photographs of brain tumor available okay collectively i would like to show you uh, the appropriate data set which is available so let me just take you to the downloads directory wherein we have our brain mri images brain tumor data set okay so guys if you all can see there are two categories for brain tumor calculation the first one is there are certain images wherein uh there are images available those people those who are infected with brain tumor and there are certain cases wherein people are not infected with brain tumor so we have both types of information available initially in order to perform processing now i would like to take you to the one so when we go yes so these are all the brain tumor images the brain mri images which have been extracted and i would like to show you certain examples so if you can see this image at this image this image is of a patient this is a human brain okay and over this human brain if you can quickly observe here this area actually defines that the brain suffers from a tumor okay now what we need to do is we need to make an artificial intelligent machine which can take the brain mri data and it can predict the brain tumor with 100% accuracy that whether the person is infected with tumor or not and in case if he is infected with the tumor then what kind of tumor he is suffering from so that we can provide him the appropriate prescription and we can uh and we can help people uh get their lives okay so this is how the data is collected and we have a lot of data available for different types of brain tumor cases so uh, somewhere the tumor is at the left hand side there are certain cases wherein the tumor is at the right hand side uh, sometimes the tumor is at the central center of the brain so this is how the information of the skull has been taken and we have got various types of tumors calculated now what we need to do this is the cases wherein people are suffering from tumor there is another case wherein people are not suffering from tumor okay these are the brain heads when well, a person is not suffering from tumor it's a clean brain it does not suffer from tumor so uh, you can see that these are the cases wherein tumor is not available on patients so we are going to use all these images and we are going to get started with the project so those people those who want to uh, step by step implement 
the project with us. Quickly let us uh, know on the chat so that we can share credentials if possible. Those who want to quickly perform practical implementations with us, we can share that information with you. Now, one more thing uh, before we continue from here, let's see, there are certain images which you can see. Now on each image, there is a name available. Okay. In each image, we have a tag available for the data that this image does not have tumor. And if we go to the bottom, there are certain images which suffer from tumor day, tumor information. Okay. Now you can see that these are the images wherein the patient is suffering from tumor. And the tumor is labeled here with a character uppercase Y. So now what we need to do, we need to convert this pool of information wherein we have approximately 253 patients information. We are going to use all these 253 files and we are going to create a recipe so that we can quickly identify what all images have tumor in it what all images does not have tumor in them. And then we are going to organize it into a training set and a testing set and we can perform further analysis. Okay. Now, so here we have got these files and now I would like to take you to the recipe. Okay, so here, so once we have got the data, now we are going to, I'm going to quickly show you the recipe, how we have collected this data. So we have collected this data. We have read all the images from the path. Okay. Once you have read that, we have enumerated the path and we have checked that in each path, if the image contains NO, then we are going to quickly replace the path as slash and the name of the path which is available and we are going to change the label as no okay so what we are doing here is we are creating another column here okay so here you can see that we have created two columns in the data set one column will be path second column will be label so here what we are doing is in the first column we are putting the path of the image and in the second column we are labeling it whether it has tumor or not. In case if an image has Y in it, okay? So we are going to create an entry wherein we are going to provide path of the image and we are going to label it as yes. Once we are done with the processing of all the images, we are going to create a tumor data set data frame, okay? And it is going to be stored onto a file known as tumor data set one. So this is the Python recipe which we have created and once this has been created, the final output is going to be this tumor data set one. Okay. So once we run that recipe, we are going to get tumor data set one. So there were certain images in the image directory. Now we have created path for those images. Okay, you can see that. So this is the path column when we have all that JPG images available. And we have extracted yes and no label for every image. Okay, so there is a big question sometimes that whenever we are performing image analysis, there are different category of information available. When we club it onto a, a platform wherein we have to perform analysis, how to differentiate them? So you can quickly differentiate them with a Python recipe, wherein you can quickly tag them, you can label them. And once you're done with the labeling, then you can perform further analysis. Okay. So once we reach here, we have got a tumor data set one. Now over this tumor data set one, we have to perform our analysis. So to perform this analysis, I would like to take you to the analysis segment. 
in the analysis segment, I'll take you to the original analysis wherein we have implemented Keras model. And I would like to show you the design first and how exactly we designed it. Now, so here is the designing of the model over which we have to use over the images in order to create a brain tumor detection system. Now to do that, what we have is we have got a target system available. Okay. In target, we have quickly selected the prediction type as two class classification because we have a yes class and we have a no class and the target which we have to predict is the label whether the image has tumor or not this is what we need to predict it now once we have that you can see that in our data set we have approximately 32 percent of cases belong to no category and approximately 68 percent cases of tumor belongs to yes category so we have ample amount of data available now, when we have to perform analysis on it, first thing is we have to quickly distribute it into test set and training set. Okay. So we split the data set and randomly we have split wherein 80% of the data will go to training data. And the balance 20% will go to our testing set. So our training set and testing set will be created wherein approximately 181 rows will be available in training data and 46 rows will be available in testing data. Then we have to optimize our model with respect to accuracy. So there are certain optimization hyperparameters, which includes F1 score, accuracy calculation, precision, recall, cost, mat cost matrix, logarithm loss, cumulative lift, or else in case if you want to define any specific Let's say, for example, when it comes to brain tumor, there is a dice coefficient which is calculated, a dice calculation value. So in case if you want to integrate that program or integrate that formula with Python code, you can quickly write that here and you can calculate the accuracy of dice code as well. So the optimization will be done for AUC square. And then we have the cost matrix information available over here. So this is preparation of the data, the basic preparation of data, which you have to perform. Now the important part comes under feature handling. Okay. When it comes to feature handling, what we need to do, we need to select the path, which is available in our path label. Now this path is going to be an input and it's going to be an image. Okay. So we're going to read the path of an image and we're going to read it from the images directly. Okay, so you have the images directory from where you're going to read the image. And once the image has been read, you're going to pre-process it. So how is it done? There is a simple Python code for it. You're going to use Keras library for pre-processing the images and you're going to import image to edit and load image functions. Okay, load image is going to load the image with respect to the appropriate target size you have defined in. And image to array is going to convert it into a byte array so that we can give it to the build model and we can perform mathematical calculations on it. So we defined a function known as pre-process image. We have given the image files and what we did, we have actually scaled it to 197 cross 197 cross three dimensions and we loaded the image into a variable known as IMG. Now, once you have got this IMG image, we have converted it to it into a byte array and we have returned the array for actual pre-processing or for actual processing. Okay. So this is how what we can do is we can quickly connect the image file with the path and we can read that information out. Finally, you have to define your architecture. So when you define your architecture, you are going to use various uh, various uh, models you can use. You can use convolutional neural networks, which is CNN two dimension. You can use max pooling two dimension. You can use input. Then there are dense connected network. We have features for batch normalization. Uh, we have features to convert 3D images into 2D images using flatten concept. So all these things we can use. And further, 
in order to make our model optimized with accuracy and other stuff, we can use Adam from Keras. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to build a model and we're going to uh, take the image shape that is going to be the image shape which we have received from pre-processing stage is of this shape. We are going to read the image from the path pre-process information. Finally, we are going to pass it to convolutional neural network. We are going to normalize it. We are going to perform max pooling on it. And once we're done with that, finally, we are going to get a model ready. So in order to understand each and every stage, how it has been done, what is the uh, softmax layer, uh, for that you can go for a dedicated program where you can understand the concepts in depth, concepts in detail, so that you can understand how we make the model. Once the model has been built, we compile the model for accuracy. So compilation of the accuracy is done using Adam library, wherein we are going to optimize for AUC square, which is selected. Once we're done with features handling and creation of the architecture, now we can start training the model. When we train the model, we click on train and we start training of the model. Now what we're doing is we are reading the images from the images directory. We are giving it to class model using convolutional neural network. And this is how the citizen uh, citizen programming is done. So when you go to an industry like a machine learning expert, it is clear that you have to understand Python programming language. But when you go into an industry, development of a product has to be done pretty fast. Okay, And for that, uh, there is a huge involvement of citizen softwares today using which analysis has to be done. And in order to understand how all these citizen applications work in order to understand how code can be integrated to all these citizen applications. You can join our program with Hackwira so that you can understand each and every minute details of various projects and various tools which are being used so that you will be able to build intelligent systems. So now here we have started training the model with the images. Yeah, so there's a question, what is meant by optimizing the model? So optimizing the model means, uh, let's say you have 10 equations, okay? And you have, you have used those 10 equations with your data set in order to predict the outcome. Now, all these 10 equations may vary with respect to time calculation, with respect to other uh, calculation like accuracy. So accuracy is something like uh, wherein you can show the conclusion matrix that let's say if you have got, uh, uh, if you have given a test set of approximately 46 values, wherein uh, approximately 33 were having tumor and there were a couple of 15, 20 were there, uh, which does not have the tumor. So if your application can accurately calculate that the actual case was yes, and the predicted case is also yes, then it's a highly accurate system. So we always want to optimize our model. We always want to optimize our model so that we can uh, have that mathematical equation, which is highly accurate. Okay. So that's somewhat like, yeah, is there a career that combines the knowledge of web application development and machine learning? Yes, definitely. Uh, when it comes to product development, your machine learning knowledge has to be integrated with a web application so that users can utilize that technology. Because final, final product could be an end product and this end product could be a web application, it could be a mobile application, it could be a, a hardware-based application, consider it based on Arduino or any other electronic device. So uh, definitely, yes, you need to have an end-to-end -end platform wherein your machine learning model has to be integrated. And we have got a complete series of how to create an end-to-end -end product, which I will be sharing with you shortly. Once I am done with this analysis, I'm going to share a series with all of you so that you can understand how you can start from scratch 
and how you can export your model into an end to end product post that in case if you want to get started with machine learning and integration of web application development and mobile app development along with uh, iot integration uh, with blockchain and other technology you can definitely join with us at hackwera in order to quickly understand the actual concepts how things are being done and how enterprise level products are being designed for machine learning so uh, the analysis is being done so here you can see the values like 0 1 and 2 so 1 is a cross validation state 1 wherein your training set has been divided into 10 different sets and for every individual different sets now we are going to identify the difference between accuracy so there is a training set there is a test set so from the training set we have got an accuracy of 91.9% but with roc accuracy for the testing set is 88.6% but as soon as we progress further and we reach out to the 10th cross validation state we will be able to effectively calculate we will be able to effectively calculate the accuracy so it will since we have approximately 227 images you can see that it is taking certain time approximately 10 minutes it generally takes in order to compile uh, and build the model so we have reached to cross validation stage 3 where now you can see the accuracy of prediction and calculation has actually improved to 97% so we are building a model where then our neural network will be able to predict brain tumor with 100% accuracy okay guys by the time you are undergoing this model by the time you are undergoing this model i would like to take you to our youtube channel youtube.com wherein you can quickly go to our channel terminal apps hack with us i will quickly share that with you wherein we have actually made one series open for an end to end product development and deployment so i'm sharing that with all of you so under the playlists we have two products implemented actually one is uh, casualty severity prediction and another is house price prediction system so i would like to quickly copy the list playlist and i would like to share that with all of you so this is one end to end product deployment with a house price prediction system another one is casualty severity prediction so in these cases under data analytics using python house price prediction system if you come to this if you come to the sheet we have a complete list of topics right from python introduction list operations list comprehension introduction to machine learning machine learning with sema model then the stages of data transformation evaluation of how good the model is removal of multi collinearity then how will you deploy machine learning model on cloud platform how you are going to integrate machine learning model with a web application and finally you are going to design a web application and connect with a machine learning model so how that particular process is done we have quickly deployed that over here and okay can you see that now and if i quickly show you what kind of product is being designed here i'll show that here so at the end when you design a machine learning model with us so once first we have done machine learning and at the end there is a cloud deployed model wherein you have got that complete information wherein you are going to specify information like a user you are going to predict the price of a house and you are going to get the output done 
and here this machine learning based house price prediction model predicts with 95 percent accuracy. So this is uh, one end-to-end -end product series which we have already uh, deployed on our YouTube channel, which you can always access. And now we have moved our interest towards healthcare products, blockchain product, and various other uh, products we are working on. Context awareness, which is enterprise level products, which you can uh, which you can uh, gain knowledge with us, and you can make those products deploy in an end-to-end -end format. So uh, approximately six cross-validation states have been done. Once the complete optimization is done, we will be, uh, we will get an approximate accuracy of 100% in detection of brain tumor. Yeah, so does creating such enterprise systems as being taught by Hackuda require knowledge of multiple technologies like IoT, blockchain, AI, web mobile app development? Yes, so what we do is uh, the enterprise products which we are designing in, we actually train our uh, developers on all these technologies like IoT, blockchain, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and web application development, deployment, so that they can make an end-to-end -end product and they can utilize all the technologies like a blockchain distributed data technology, IoT as a hardware technology, mobile app as an application technology, web app as a web application technology, as well as for machine learning, we use AI and ML. So finally, the product which is formed is an end-to-end -end product. Is it possible to become an expert in so many technologies? Absolutely, it is possible because today it has become very easy. And uh, in case if you if you observe uh, here, when we deployed this product of designing a web application, this has been done hardcore step by step, wherein approximately there are 11 to 12 sessions of on an average of one hour each, on an average of let's consider two hour each. Okay, so within 12 to the 24, 24 hours of uh, time, you can actually build an end-to-end -end product along with machine learning. So this uh, 12 video series has actually been recorded with explanation. Once you're done it once, you will be able to design a product maximum in uh, like six hours or seven hours maximum. So given a data, you'll be able to analyze it. You'll be able to put it on cloud. You'll be able to fit it, uh, fit the model. You will be able to design a web product or a mobile app product, and you can publish it on Play Store as well as you can deploy it on cloud platform. So yes, it's, are these videos recorded uncut? Yes, these are uncut, uncut videos. There is no cutting in the videos. These are 100% end-to-end deployment of the video series. And the, that is only one product. We uh, are working on approximately 20, 30 products and in each and every training, in each and every training, we actually take up a new product and we design it with different case studies with respect to what the industrial trend is. So accordingly, we do that. Can we access a recording of this session also? Yes, yes, definitely. I will be pushing recording of this session on our YouTube channel wherein the video is available live, so you can access it later as well. That won't be a problem. Now, so here, so now you can see that we have reached to up till ninth cross-validation state, wherein accuracy has reached up to 99.8%. And by the last stage, approximately 100% we will be reaching in. Uh, okay, so 10 stages are being over, and we have got a neural network with an accuracy of 99.8% in prediction of brain tumor segmentation. So here are the results. Let me just show you the results. So here is the confusion matrix. Here is the performance. Now you can see that why it was 99.8% because there were 33 actual cases of yes and they were predicted as yes. Okay. None of 
the tumor case was predicted as no. but there is only one case which may be uh, a little complex case to identify by a machine wherein the actual case was no but it was predicted as yes hence this is the overall uh, performance we have recorded wherein the accuracy is 98% the f1 score is 99% we call value able to predict the tumor with 99.8% accuracy okay now the next is the decision chart which we have actually designed in in order to work out uh, with this format so precision we call f1 score cost matrix gain and all these calculations are available over here which you can understand actually what is accuracy what is precision so the information is accuracy is the proportion of correct predictions positive and negative in the sample precision is proportion of correct positive predictions in the sample recall is proportion of positive actual records correctly predicted as positives so positives are actually predicted as positives hence the recall is 100% but precision is a little less because it is the proportion of correct positive predictions in the sample as well as f1 score is a harmonic calculation between harmonic mean between precision and recall then finally you have the cost matrix so this is how you can quickly evaluate your model then we have a left chart which we have got where in the red uh, green one is the random model blue one is the cumulative gain which is approximately as per the wizard and here is the perfect mode wizard so we are a little less from being a perfect model so now you can see that uh, the model identified is a very nice model because it has 99.8% prediction and here is the roc curve uh, which is a little less here otherwise it would have been just been perfect and you can see is the area under curve for this model is 0.998 which is excellent so now the the algorithm which we have introduced is able to identify tumor with 99.8% prediction uh, accuracy so earlier it was uh, it was considered as uh, in medical analysis machine learning wouldn't be that effective but if you consider today's state machine learning has actually penetrated into uh, medical analysis wherein healthcare startups and healthcare products are uh, very popular nowadays as well as there are various other libraries uh, defined by google within lung cancer and great stuff is being identified uh, deep map library is there by google using which you can uh, predict the lung cancer and there are various other use cases of that uh, library which you can do finally here is the density chart wherein the the, the probability of the density function is yes so yes functions is on the right hand side no functions are on the left hand side and here approximately the value is the predicted probability for x class is 0.85 so here you can consider uh, the density chart is also good which less which evaluates uh, that there is a huge difference between yes and no so you can see that these are the no cases these are the yes cases and there is a huge difference between them only one case was identified Uh, between yes and no as a false result so you can quickly separate the no cases with the yes cases so this is how you can say machine learning is quite effective today in performing analysis with medical cases and finally here is the detailed matrix so accuracy is 97% precision is 97 recall is 100% f1 score is 98.51 hamming laws matthews correlation coefficient logarithm loss area under curve score so all these values have been calculated and these are the performance metrics using which we evaluate our model so now once you see we have done the evaluation and uh, you have got a machine learning model which is highly accurate in prediction now what we can do is we can quickly export this model so that we can integrate that with a web application for that you can quickly deploy that model in cloud then you can integrate that and uh, i have already shared that information with you
how you can do it end to end. In case if you seek the guidance of a mentor, if you want to do it step by step along with the mentors, either online or either with Hackweather, then what you can do is you can uh, join our programs on machine learning, which are very efficient, which helps you with multiple technologies and help you implementations of AI and machine learning with an end-to-end -end product deployment. And I would like to take you to that. So you can quickly explore our IT courses here. Uh, these are certain paid courses which are available at Classroom and online, which you can take up. So we have recently started a machine learning program uh, on, uh, I guess, 10th or 12th of August. On 10th, we started, right? 10th, we started. So 10th, we have started uh, a program on Python along with data analytics and data science, which is available at 11800. If you want to do it online, you can do it with us at 9,000 rupees. Plus, you grab a Microsoft certification over that. A certification from Microsoft is quite valuable so that you can get started with internships and get started with product development and deployment. So these are the programs along with building dynamic websites. Uh, you can also undergo cybersecurity, Android application development and deployment and implementation of Java programming for server side and uh, front end. So all these programs are available, which you can actually take up, uh, which is quite beneficial as well as uh, you can quickly explore all our trainings, which we have put on our, our panel as well. Now, I would like to take you to one more place, which is very efficient. So these, this is our uh, video sessions of our last training, which has been done, wherein our students have got certifications from Microsoft Technology Associate uh, for Python programming, along with uh, once they're done with certification, they have taken various products, they have defined those products on machine learning, and they have deployed it end to end. So there is a pool of approximately 100 plus, uh, uh, totally 160 students have passed Microsoft certifications with above 90% uh, score. So these are certain uh, series which has been available. Also, we are offering various certification trainings and uh, certification programs on ISC Square, Amazon, C++ Institute, Cisco, Comptia, EC Council, Google, uh, along with Microsoft, Oracle, Juniper Networks, and so on. So you can quickly get training on all these programs with us, either online, either at our center, as well as for professionals who are related with education. We have a Microsoft Certified Educator program available. For beginners in uh, technology like Python, Java, and various stuff, uh, we have got this Microsoft Technology Associate certifications available, which you can actually take up and uh, learn various stuff. If you if you know Python programming, if you directly want to take up an exam and get certified with Microsoft, you can do that with us at only 4400. So these are basic pricing which uh, our programs have, along with. Uh, we have a preparation kit wherein we include approximately 3,000 plus courses, 28,000 plus books, 36,000 of videos, and 100 plus IT certification preparation. So if you be, if you become a member, you get access to all that stuff, and uh, you grab a lot lot of information. Okay, these are certain placements which have been done with Hackweather for different profiles. So people are working at Cisco, Adobe, Intuit, Accenture, and various other. So we have a pool of hiring partners available. And once you take up a program with us, there is a very high opportunity wherein you can grab great positions at good industries because what you know is, uh, you know pretty well uh, what all technologies are uh, being available and how they are integrated with each other. Along with, you are certified with global certifications so you are already accepted in the market. So I've already introduced myself. Uh, these, there, are, there is a pool of feedback. Of a, we are approximately 1,125 reviews with 4.6 star uh, in Delhi, Noida, as well as Canada. We have recently started. It's been like a six month venture till now. So we are progressing towards Canada section as well. Now, so once we're done with that, one more information I would like to give you is the programs available with technology associate certification. So beginners, uh, maybe college going students or those who are starting their career with programming or those who are 
interested towards uh, becoming a good programming expert in web application designing or graphic designing. So Aquila provides technology certifications for programming on these uh, on these technologies. So on a mere amount of 5,900 as well, you can get started with any of these basic technologies like Java programming, and you can get certified with Microsoft. Then you can get certified on Microsoft uh, with HTML and CSS, JavaScript, Python programming, uh, HTML5 application development, cloud fundamentals with Azure, mobility and device fundamental with Android technology, security fundamentals for cybersecurity, then we have network fundamentals, database fundamentals, software development fundamentals, and OS fundamentals. So all these vouchers are available at mere 4,400. Let me just specify. So at a nominal cost of 4,400, you can get certified. And at a nominal cost of 5,900, you can get training. So collectively, in case if you are in a group, we have a group discount available. Recently, it has been available. In group discount at mere 5900, you can get training plus certification. You can take up uh, live trainings at our center as well as online. These trainings are available on weekends. So if you are a working professional or if you are a student of college, uh, there won't be any problem with your current academic connectivity or current uh, uh, job requirements. You can actually take up the programs on Saturday and Sunday. So that part is available. Along with, uh, there are other important courses which we have started on, uh, which we have started recently. So there are pool of Adobe certifications available for Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and so on. Then we have Apple iOS certification as well. So you can get, if you are a mobile application developer, so there are various things like iOS core ML, which you can integrate machine learning with iOS applications and you can get certified with Apple. So approximately pretty less, uh, all these courses and uh, certifications are available at a very low pricing. So you can take that opportunity and get certified at approximately a fee of 4,400 only. Along with, there are programs on 3DS, Max, Maya, AutoCAD, and so on. Then in case if you're interested to work cybersecurity, you can take an ethical hacking associate and cyber forensics associate certification. Okay. We have, then we have acute programs, Microsoft certified educator program available. If you want to get started with Microsoft Office credentials, these certifications and training programs are also available at a mere cost of 4,400. So these are certain programs. And in case if you're a graphic designer and you want to introduce into introduce yourself as a game developer, then we are also offering Unity certifications. So you can get started with all that stuff. So uh, these are certain things which we need to tell you. Uh, now you got to know that there is uh, one more platform I would like to show you, which is our free platform hack with a one-to-one wherein you can grab a lot of video access of our previous sessions, which we recorded till 2018. So 2011 to 2018, we have segregated all of our resources on Hack with a one-to-one. -one. Here on one-to-one, -one, we have approximately 200 plus courses, wherein pool of video series are available. It starts from Android programming, uh, cyber security, competitive programming, wherein pretty effective videos are available. So let's say in case if I would like to show you uh, an example, let's say in case if you are learning, let's say you are learning priority queues with us. Okay. Welcome. In this session, we are going to understand priority queuing. So in this, you're, first you're going to get the definitions. Post definitions, you're going to get an animated approach of how each and every stuff is being implemented. Once you are understood with the concepts animated and logical format. So here, if I show you, once you are done with the concepts in animated format, here is the animated format. In the logical format, here is the logical format. Once you're done with that, then we take you to implementation of this programmatically. 
So now you can switch to writing a program from the scratch. You can learn that programming. You can implement all these stuff step by step. And finally, you'll be able to write your program, test your program, and get the output. So that's how all these programs are actually available over here, which you can access uh, for free as well. These are available for free access on our portal, hackweather.com slash one to one. Along with uh, the course on machine learning, software testing, big data, a lot of stuff, mobile hacking security, Google Cloud basics, Android security, these are available. Apart from that one, there is a very nice course known as Treasure. So this Treasure program starts from basics of C programming. Once you're done with C programming, then it takes you towards Java programming. Then it teaches you concepts of Linux. Then it teaches you concepts of cloud computing. Then it includes R programming, understanding mathematical functions. Then how to perform R programming on uh, Linux along with there are practical step-by-step -step project tools, projects implemented as well. Welcome. In to register an account on, you will be designing an agent mode like that. And already the web application. Where you are going to perform analysis, you are going to perform big data and all that stuff. Okay. So this is a big data project, which you can actually learn and take up. So we have, we have put all these information on our platform. Followed by this, you can learn Android in this. Uh, then you can learn web application designing, integration of Android with web. So there was a question. Somebody asked, can we master all these technologies? Yes, you can definitely master all these technologies. In sequence, you can master. As well as uh, we have node programming, web programming, C++, which is recorded along with data structures and so on, so that you grab the right skill. And for machine learning, uh, we have two courses here. One is machine learning with Python, wherein some very nice uh, case studies we have taken on uh, exploratory analysis and univariate and multivariate analysis, wherein very high end graphs we have designed in. So if you want, I can show you like how you can make coaxial plots and how you can make advanced plots like this for comparisons. So you can do and learn all that stuff with appropriate explanations and 100% practical step-by-step -step implementation. In today's session, because I have to quickly show you a product, so I was explaining the code, but mostly in our all the trainings, we write each and every code so that you understand each thing step-by-step -step and you are able to implement the concept well. Okay, so that's how it is being done. You can make use of one to one platform wherein a lot of potential information is available. Now I've got certain questions which let me just answer. Uh, yeah, so now I have certain questions. Uh, can we get access to this project? Uh, you can get access to the project, the Brain MRI project. You can get access if you are a member of uh, Hackweather. So if you uh, join any of the program of data analytics, which is available at 11800, uh, as well as Python programming at 11800, you can quickly become a member and you can get access to not just one. Approximately, we have a pool of projects, and I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you more projects which we are doing in. So we are doing it on crime analysis. We are doing it on diabetes. Then we are doing it on uh, context awareness. There are various big projects we are doing in. Uh, one more project I would like to show you. This is with Android, which we are doing in for prediction of context of users. So this is how our real-time model works. So you have taken accelerometer data, consider. Then you can perform clustering on it. You can perform predictions on it, and you can make a combination of clustering and prediction so as to get the best output. So this is how uh, you can quickly take up big projects and you can implement all these stages. And one of the best part is all these algorithms, the models which we compare, the models, the equations which we compare, 
let's say here gradient boosted trees works best with uh, context awareness so here i will quickly show you so we implement all these specific scripts in python programming and we implement them so that you gain the right experience and you gain the right implementation of uh, machine learning stuff with an end to end product development and deployment and then you can export this model from here and you can take it to the cloud platform and you can integrate it so step by step all that uh, code with cross validation strategy with feature processing everything you can learn with us okay moreover i would like to show you one more thing before i proceed further so for machine learning we have actually defined various grade stuff i will show you one so let's say permutation is the act of arranging the members of a set into a sequence so or order or if let's say when we start uh, our machine learning so we start with the sample space that the probability theory the sample space of an experiment or random trial is the set of all possible outcomes or the results of the experiment a sample space is usually denoted using set notations and the possible order outcomes are listed as elements in the set it is common to refer to a sample space by the labels s o or u for universal set for example the sample space for rolling a single die is represented as s equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and so now as you can see what we do is we we are creating this high level content so that you will be able to identify each and every minute concept of machine learning and programming in a in a appropriate way so this sample combination where you will get to know about sample space of a machine learning stage as well as how Uh, that sample space can be converted onto a set notation, and how we can quickly define that in Python. So this is how you can quickly observe that these are the curly braces which define set notation, and you can define n number of elements separated by comma, and then you can store that value onto a variable. This is how all these contents we are organizing in, which you can quickly explore and during our training programs. So. uh this is how all these contents are being arranged wherein uh, you will get access to all these stuff like our courses one to one is free where you can access 200 courses but new programs which we are recording and which we are creating you can get access to them at our live personal classrooms online as well as at our classrooms at our at with our noida rohini and canada, canada office now another question is what is the difference between a machine learning engineer and a web developer using tensorflow.js for machine learning so the difference between machine learning and a web developer using tensorflow.js for machine learning would be something like a web developer does not have that level of knowledge that how specific machine learning has to be done let me take one case let's say we have built up a product on house price prediction system but only a machine learning expert can understand in case after plotting a correlation matrix he identifies a very high level of variance inflation so the removal of variance inflation factor has to be done now tensorflow.js is not going to do that automatically it is a manual implementation wherein a person has to actually check what is the wherever variables are highly correlated to each other instead of the outcome variable and then if it crosses a threshold then the removal has to be done so a machine learning engineer with basic implementations of web development or citizen web development concepts he can utilize in order to make a better product but a web developer with using tensorflow.js would not be able to make that product much effective because accuracy is very important tensorflow.js when you use it may give you uh, a product let's say of 70 80% accuracy but a machine learning expert would be able to improve that accuracy from 80% to 99% or 99.9% and then he can effectively uh, produce that product for the consumers then other than training do you have development center also yeah we do have a development center also at our hatveda noida campus 
uh, we do have a pool of developers wherein we are developing products on finance prediction and there are various products we are designing in one such product i would like to show you we are doing this when a passenger is stuck in the delhi metro due to delay riders update facebook status or tweets about the issue real time analysis of the problem is done using operational data and riders social media data after analysis of master data integrated data and internal analytics aggregation we get trends and impacts of disruption in delhi metro join for the 6 week summer training program so these types of products we are developing in uh, wherein uh, you can work out on metro production delay production as well as health tech products we are designing in we are also working on quant finance wherein uh, we are working on products for quantitative finance as well as we are building bots uh, for financial markets we have uh, the new section which we are starting shortly is process automation with artificial intelligence so we are planning to proceed towards that direction so yes we do have the development center available as well at our hackwitha noida campus uh once you become a member of hackwitha can we continue to access your online content after the completion of our course course also yes you will get lifetime access to access all the content uh which is produced by hackwitha uh then we have uh, then we have a question from abhimanyu do hack with a one to one videos offer complete end to end training free yes so hack with a one to one training uh, actually i'll tell you one to one platform which we have uh, created earlier we started conducting trainings from 2011 so from 2011 till 2018 what all uh, training videos we have recorded we have kept they are on one to one and we have opened it free for all the users so there are a lot of uh, end to end deployment available in uh, different categories or else you can integrate them with each other also so let's say if i show you one product on intelligent meta search engine uh let me just show you instead of that i'll show you there are there are many programs actually available let's say in case if you are a web programmer And if you are planning to design a web project, so here on Angular 4, uh, there is a step-by-step -step implementation of the product. Then, uh, for different cases, uh, we have end-to-end -end products available. Let's say for predicting analysis with R. Here we are implementing a logistic regression model for prediction of the response variable for employee attrition, whether the employee is going to stay in a company or he is going to. uh leave the company so we are actually we have actually deployed the products with end to end implementation we are going with uh, with prediction with the uh, technical concepts with implementation of data using our model has to be done so in order to do that what exactly so you can actually uh, learn a lot of great stuff from our content which is available on our site for free okay so this is a part of exploration as well as when you explore any of the course and if you find any difficulty you can reach out to us via talk to mentor you can ask the queries and we can help you out that in what uh, resource what kind of video is available so you can quickly speak to us on our talk to mentor option and we can give you the right video from one to one uh, which can sort your problem out quickly so that service is available at hack with us along with in case if you become a member there are uh, a pool of benefits which you can be so these are certain things which uh, were scheduled for today's discussion in case if you guys have any more questions you can please ask me so i can see sandeep sabarno rohan abhimanyu in case if you guys have any more questions you can please ask me i have also provided all the information about one to one as well as the program details moreover in case if you would like to speak to me on whatsapp you can quickly come to the whatsapp section on my website you can quickly click on this whatsapp or facebook messenger and i am available to speak to you all directly as well as you can speak to us on talk to mentor option also and we have the following contact information
so here you can speak to me on 8920629494 that's my official number as well as you can write me an email on admin at hackwithadaughter so these are certain things which uh, was scheduled for today's discussion we will be bringing out many more practical sessions as well as if you explore our one to one and if you explore a uh, youtube channel of ours you will get ample amount of information as well as in case if you are dis if you are focused towards uh, getting a certification get an appropriate training build an end to end product with stage by stage implementations with 100% knowledge of every stage then i definitely recommend you to join our program uh, which is organized on weekends as well as on week weekdays so you can take up as per your convenience and you get a lifetime membership for that uh, on a very mere cost and you get uh, practical stuff with end to end deployment so final question thanks for being awesome thank you so much abhimanyu what are the prerequisites for your course on intelligent systems for intelligent systems we uh, the prerequisites is python programming so you need to know python programming in order to get started with uh, our building intelligent systems and machine learning program so what you can do is you can quickly take up python programming uh here so on it courses we have this python programming available ignore the dates we have other dates available for training wherein we are starting our training on uh, monday onwards and wednesday onwards and next week and onwards as well so you can join as per your convenience that won't be a problem uh wherein you get one project during the training uh, you get one training completion certificate from hackwith limited and you get a corporate certification after taking up an exam from microsoft and you also get a 6 month internship where you will be working on two live projects with us and you gain an experience letter with us for 6 months experience as well as we provide 100% recruitment support with hiring partners uh, on our platform so there are big hiring partners connected with us where we can quickly uh, introduce uh, your talent with the big giants so all these options are available so python programming once you're done then you can switch to our building intelligence systems artificial intelligence data analytics and machine learning so we are we are recently starting these programs so uh, we are we are going to start these programs very shortly a couple of programs have already been started from 3rd of august then we have another batch started on 10th of august so in case if you are planning to get started in the upcoming program uh, you can do that that's going to be great Uh, experience for you i hope so rohan i hope your query is clear the prerequisite for uh, data analytics course is python programming uh, nice any knowledge of calculus and statistics uh, definitely knowledge of calculus and statistics is actually required but we do have a pool of content to work out on that so we have actually prepared all that stuff in order to an event is a subset of the sample space to which a probability is assigned a single outcome may be an element of different events and different events in an experiment are usually not equally likely since they may include different groups of outcomes if each outcome in the sample space is equally likely the probability of an event is the following formula For example, if we draw a single card from the deck, the sample space is a 52 element set. An event, however, is any subset of the sample space including any singleton set, the empty set, and the sample space itself. Other events are proper subsets of the sample space that contain multiple elements. So our mentors have a lot of uh, a lot of resources available in order to brief you about calculus and statistics as well as we have uh, technical people available with mathematics background on calculus statistics probability so they ensure that you gain the right calculus and statistics knowledge uh, with appropriate mathematical equations and uh, once you're done with that you continue you implement all that stuff with python programming and once you're done with implementation so over python programming then you proceed towards uh, data science artificial intelligence 
and uh, we have certain refreshers available as well on our course so i would like to show you uh, on our machine learning using python course there is a course id 163 on 1 to 1 you can quickly search for machine learning using python course id 163 over this course we have a pool of refreshers available a lot of topics step by step recorded also you can quickly observe them and i would like to show you the cheat sheet for algebra and calculus knowledge which is quite recommended for algebra calculus probability and statistics which are required so all these equations like what is a vector what is a matrix what is an identity matrix diagonal matrix operations on matrix all these things we cover then spectral theorem singular value decomposition matrix calculus then you have lasso regularization ridge regularization how to calculate good euclidean manhattan normalization all that stuff we do so there are a lot of refreshers which are available in the course as well so that you get the right knowledge and then you implement that all these equations you are going to implement with python programming and once you implement that with python programming then you integrate them uh, with data science and ai concepts and integrate that with web application and mobile product okay nice uh, that's nice okay rohan thank you so much can our language be used for machine learning and data mining yes 100% our language can be used for machine learning it is uh, except it is expect it is also accepted as a very nice language for performing statistics and mining so in case if you want to explore a course on r programming we have a course on r programming here okay so you can search r programming training wherein we have recorded r programming training right from how to install r programming then step by step implementations of how to compute the mathematical functions and each and every stuff along with we have implemented a complete project on market basket analysis using r program so here it is for you welcome we have done this mining mining tool dot india dot okay so multiple where in these were the Uh, transactions so transaction set processed will be okay this was the transaction set so, so i would like to say i process specified of a uh, this is like minimum support it got an output somewhat like this this product is implemented using r programming okay so for data science and machine learning with r programming also you can do and we have got that uh, available over here okay so how you are going to create the r script how you are going to execute that so everything is recorded here step by step okay so with the cloud implementation so that your products are available over var/www/html and within this we are going to call it as ice cream so that's how you can you can use app with us platform and you can get access to a lot of One more question, I think I've got. So, how do we get updates for sessions like this? So, you will get update for sessions like this. One thing what you can do is you can uh, quickly join our Facebook page, facebook.com/hackweather, because mostly all that information uh, we push on our Facebook events only. Okay, so you can quickly go to hackweather page. You can follow and like the page. so whatever information we push whatever events we push you are going to get access to that events quickly along with another good thing is in case if you would like to get access to the live video session because we are recording a lot of live video sessions you can also subscribe to our channel on youtube so if you see uh, if i take you to my youtube channel and if i show you so mostly a lot of sessions we are releasing publicly wherein uh, you will get access to that if you go to our channel you can subscribe youtube channel and mostly majority of the sessions are being published live uh, and if you want to if i want to show you certain so that's one which is already live as of now uh, building intelligent system workshop as soon as you subscribe our channel and you press that bell icon 
whenever we push a session which is regularly we do uh, at least one or couple of sessions regularly we push online so you can quickly you will be able to grab that uh, you will get notified on your mobile phone via youtube only and you will get access to that so uh, that would be a good idea to grab such information as well as uh, you can go to hackwithas website hackwithas.in you can register for any of the program uh, once you're done registration okay uh, here is the information available at events page you can also go to events you can register on any of the event so on our events page we have uh, majority of information available you can register on any of the free event or a paid event or anything like that and you will be notified on email for upcoming event right events whatever we are doing so these are all the recent events which we have organized so this is how you can explore majority of the information from our website but the first channel is facebook because initially we push everything on facebook second uh, whenever we do it live it gets notified through youtube uh yeah how do we get updates for uh, but fbi stopped sending notifications for new events fbi stopped sending notifications for new events okay in that case uh okay in that case if if you face any problems like that it's better you register on our website on any of these events and uh, majorly you will grab that information available okay so if you are registered on any of the program on our website then definitely you will be notified on event bright from us okay so guys any more questions in case if you have any more questions please let us know moreover being available on facebook will really help help you a lot i hope because uh, mostly majority of the information we first share on facebook only okay so if there is any question i would be glad to answer the questions so i hope uh, that's all for the day okay is matlab still useful in ai or ml for mining so matlab uh, i do matlab is good because it has a lot of mathematical information is available uh, but there are a lot of lightweight tools available with high integration availability hence matlab is like uh, it's not preferred can be used easily a lot of people with uh, previous experience on mining they 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 make use of matlab but uh, it is not preferred even for image processing we have advanced deep learning networks available today neural networks available uh, using which you can perform image processing in a much better way with in comparison to matlab so matlab is like it's not a preferred platform but if it's the only option left then yes you can do whatever you want to implement but it's heavy and it's very difficult to manage and today uh, today is the time of cloud wherein uh, you will be charged for whatever you are using so if you are using unnecessary space just for running a model that won't make sense and it, it costs a lot so thank you so much everyone for being available it was it was great talking to all of all of you and uh, i would be really happy if you guys subscribe the channel so that you all will be available uh, the next time as well as uh, it's it's a great opportunity you can get started with some programs on hackwither on machine learning and data science and that may draw a lot of great experience to all of you thank you so much thank you so much for being available